Child star Gary Coleman charmed the world with this famous line. Would you charm our world? Standing at four foot eight with a wide smile, Coleman was one of America's most beloved child actors. I would never hurt my husband, ever. I would, you know, take my own life before I would ever, ever harm him. But behind the scenes, there was a darker story. He's bloody like all freaking over. I don't even know why you're standing. Here. Tell him he needs to sit down. You need to sit down. Sit down. Gary, sit down. What's wrong? Look at the floor. Sit down. After his meteoric rise to fame as Arnold on different strokes, Coleman struggled to recreate that success and eventually became somewhat of a has-been. After taking a break from the entertainment industry, he landed a role in a sports comedy in 2005. While filming in Utah, he met 19-year-old Shannon Price, who played an extra in the movie. The two eventually married in 2007. There is no abuse that goes on in my house. However, their relationship was tumultuous, with both physical and verbal altercations. I don't like the violence, I really don't. I don't either. I slapped him a couple times. I mean, nothing major, nothing like red flag. Coleman obtained a restraining order against Price, but never served it. The couple divorced a year later, though they continued living together. Mrs. Price, let's talk about Mr. Coleman for a moment. You say he's got anger issues. If he doesn't get his way, he throws a temper tantrum like a five-year-old. He bashes his head in the wall, too. On May the 26th, 2010, Price heard a loud thump and found Coleman lying in a pool of blood on the floor. Send someone quick, because I don't even know if he's like going to be alive, because there's a lot of blood on the floor. He was rushed to the hospital and placed on a ventilator for two days. Doctors allegedly informed Price that Coleman would not survive, and she decided to take him off life support. At age 42, Coleman was declared dead. However, some suggest Price could have pushed him down the stairs. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch him. I didn't hurt him. I was nowhere near him. Nothing happened. In her call to police, she initially declined instructions to apply pressure to his head wound and did not accompany him to the hospital. I have seizures. If I get stressed out, I'm going to seize. Keep pressure on this, okay? Hold this. He's bloody like all freaking over. Don't move. Okay. I don't even know why you're standing. Here. Tell him he needs to sit down. You need to sit down. Sit down. Gary, sit down. What's wrong? Look at the floor. Sit down. Additionally, in healthcare documents, Coleman had stated that he wanted at least two weeks of care before any life support was removed. Yet Price pulled the plug on day two. The kid was a fighter. I believe he could have made it back from that. Ultimately, though, the police found no evidence of foul play. We had a lot of disagreements, but we loved each other. It was golden. Coleman was born in 1968 and adopted by Sue and Willie Coleman. At age two, he was diagnosed with a congenital kidney disease. The medications required to keep him alive permanently stunted his growth, giving him his small stature and childlike appearance. For over 25 years, Coleman lived without kidneys, relying on dialysis treatments. He had this huge plastic bag, it had to be that long, full of this dialysis solution. And he had to fill the cavity of his abdomen with that and then drain it out every four hours and refill it. At the height of his career, he earned $100,000 per episode. The audience loved Gary. Just kept growing and growing and growing. What you talking about? As his business managers, Coleman's adopted parents seemed more focused on keeping him smiling for the camera, even during his childhood health crises. He was sick. He has always been sick. He was born sick. He's always going to be sick. But he also was sick when he was not working. He decided that he wanted to do these movies. He would vomit after scenes and was reportedly unhappy, especially as ratings began to decline. Maybe we did push too hard. It wasn't intentional, and it was not dollar signs on our part that we were pushing for. After eight seasons, Different Strokes was canceled for good. I have very low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. I don't feel very successful in life. Three years later, Coleman sued his parents after an investigation revealed they had embezzled over $770,000 from one of his personal accounts. I was not an accountant. I didn't handle any finances or anything. All we did was sign documents and gave our approval but only if the court approved it. In a 1993 ruling, a judge found that millions were missing and rejected an attempt by Coleman's parents to put him under a conservatorship. Who walked away with Gary Coleman's millions? 
You know, even after the lawsuit was concluded, I still don't know. I don't know where $18 million went. A broke Coleman resorted to working menial jobs, including serving as a celebrity spokesman for a California restaurant. A dollar is a dollar, whether it's a thousand of them or a hundred of them. Whether it's, you know, work as a security officer, which I have done and I am not ashamed of because it's a job. Throughout his life, Coleman referred to himself as God's punching bag. If someone had told me my life would have been like this early enough where I could have got out, I would have got out. His troubling past suggests that might indeed have been true.